Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm using the color white. I also am using the color pearl and brilliant. Um, pearl is just a shinier white and brilliant is uh, more of a translucent white. Um, to make the color white I just went to South City Art Supply and got um, an opaque and transparent one and a little bit of pearl. Um, which I'll use, it's um, ultimately a shimmer. I'll swatch it a few times on my hand here so you can see it. Um, but to make my white, I just use the opaque white. Uh, for brilliant, I just use a translucent white. And then I mix those two together with some of the um, shiny pearl mixture mineral that I have um, to make my color pearl. Um, white lightens up things, so white will bring some peace and comfort to you. Um, it represents having integrity and um, truth, clear and toxicity, and assisting with what you would call um, purification. Um, so just having clarity and understanding um, with yourself. So. The pearl helps you connect with the divine. Um, it's a special shade of white that calms you and promotes um, just kind of the faith that you would have with yourself. Um, personal integrity, um, truth, loyalty. Um, it brings the peace and the harmony that you would want in your life. And brilliance also has the ability to assist with that type of healing and health condition that you would want. Um, to release any fear and anxiety for you to be able to have this deeper connection with yourself um, to bring back your sparkle. Oftentimes when I find myself in a rut, um, I'm always trying to just remember um, the path to love. So what do I gotta do to get to the path of love? Um, what do I need to be honest with myself to find the love? Um, have a moment of reflection with others. Sometimes I don't have the answer and having conversations with others help me to find that. I'm pretty hard on myself and especially, um, you know, you say things you don't want to say or came out the wrong way or overthink the conversation. Because um, you just never know how somebody can perceive you gotten way better about just understanding that no matter what, if I just um, focus on being honest and that my intentions are filled with love and that maybe I didn't get to finish how I wanted to, like say what I wanted to, exactly how I wanted to say it in that moment, that I just have to believe that this divine presence will bring it back around in some kind of way when the time's right. Or, you know, sometimes you create the time um, to make it right, um, but overall I just have learned to just not be so hard on myself, to just really lighten up and for me to just have the belief that I can undo, so to say undo anything, like I, they say first impressions are everything and that, that might resonate with some others I get that um, but I also just believe in experience and you may have had one experience but that's just one perception of time and that especially being within a community you're you're most likely going to run into that person again and maybe you didn't have your best foot forward that day but you know all you can do is do your best and to be honest with yourself and you know if it comes along the lines of needing to even recall or redirect the conversation or um you know just get rid of the fear and the anxiety and do it um i haven't had to do that in a while 
and I guess because I've worked with the color white a few times that I've definitely have just learned how to find my my truth and who I want to be and how I want to represent myself which isn't perfect always um, but having anxiety and fear and being very socially awkward I've learned um, with a lot of work and guidance not to be so hard on myself and I feel like that's where this white and pearl and brilliance kind of come into my life to help me through that journey. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I've been giving a color study away for each canvas that I've been doing. This week is the color white, and I decided to do something a little fun using this uh, plastic film and just white only. So if you use that in a floating frame, it'll look pretty neat. Um, I did a few examples, but I just kind of have that one for the show of picking out the winner right here. Um, again, I don't want to see anybody's name, wouldn't want to vouch, 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 exactly, um, their name. So I end up just writing them and asking for their shipping information and sending it on out the door to them. Um, so thank you for those that have been following, showing love, support, asking questions. I completely appreciate it. Um, and Follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll be out of the country next week, so send over some questions. I'm going to do a Q&A while I'm gone and preparing for all of that. Um, I can't bring my canvas with me, so this would be a good time for us to get to know each other a little more or you to know me a little bit more um, by asking me questions about being an artist. You can email or direct message or leave a comment below. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more in the future, ring the bell, subscribe. Thank you all for being here on this journey.